So this is it, the Vienna Smart Orchestra. Fast, efficient, easy to use, comes with a great sound. And of course, it's super flexible within the Synchron player. You can see the dimension tree that shows you the different options you have regarding orchestration in there. And you see that the mixer offers a separate channel for all the different sections. So you have strings, woodwinds, brass, mallets, percussion, and all the solo instruments that come with Vienna Smart Orchestra all lined up here in the mixer to customize it to your sound. All right, so let's start with the short notes of the full orchestra, staccatos and the percussion up here in the upper section. We'll get to that in a second. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> So it's always the same idea. You have a section with the orchestra from C2 to C6, and you have the percussion section up here in the upper section. The key info will give you an overview of what's included. We'll start with the bass drums on D6. Snare drums and snare drum roll. Piatti and piatti slow. Tam Tam and Tam Tam Roll. The Triangle with a Triangle Roll. Same with the Tambourine. Suspended Cymbal. Dry Snares. Cymbal Roll. And the four Concert Toms. So you have a basic section that, that you can use anytime and that you can use in conjunction with the orchestra and just go like. Just play around with the options. It's a lot of uh, possibilities you have in here. Next thing is that you can use those short notes not just with staccatos, but you can also use the pizzicatos for the strings. If I switch with this key switch, you can always see how they are laid out here. C1 and C sharp one switch between staccatos and pizzicatos. Now, if I want to hear what the, only the strings look like, I have that here. I have the volume faders here on CC 41 to 46. And if I bring down the woodwinds and the brass, I'm just uh, playing the string pizzicatos. Whenever I feel like it, I can bring in the woodwinds. or the brass. So it's super easy to have access to all of this. Of course, you can mute or solo those different sections and just balance your orchestra like you need as you need it. So it's very easy to get a balance between those different sections and just use MIDI faders to mix on the fly. Or you can access the different sections right here in the dimension tree. Just stick to just strings, woodwinds, brass, mallets, as you like. Um, let's stay with the strings here. It's always the same structure, short note, long notes, and percussion. And there's a pad that adds solo instruments to it. Um, let's just go with the long notes for a quick one. So I have the string long notes with different articulations, just the strings. And uh, that's still the four octaves, but we have another section that's the pads. So as soon as you switch to the pads, you can also do that, of course, with the key switches down here. If I'm switching to the pad and solo, my pad is reaching from C2 
to B4. And from C5 on, I can decide what my solo instrument should be. So I have my strings. I know that I'm playing a pad in my left hand. And now on the right side, I can decide which solo instrument I want to play in the octaves from C5 upwards. And of course, I can also adjust the volume of my solo instrument on the fly. So if the fly violins are a little bit too loud, I'll just um, take them down for dB. Now, if I want to switch to another solo instrument, I can use those key switches again, F1, and just go up from F1 and switch to a flute in your right hand. Or go to the oboe. Clarinet. And of course, these are legato performances, so you get the authentic note transitions for those solo instruments. With the trumpets, you can hear that here in the higher register. And of course, the horn. And I still have my strings in the left hand. And I can play simple lines and combinations in here, especially for keyboard players. This is really great for sketching out ideas and just see which instrumentation works best. Now, if I switch back to the orchestra and just say I want the pad, this one here. I want to go back to the orchestra and just see what it sounds like if I bring in the woodwinds and brass. Main difference between the long notes and the pads is that the long notes go over four octaves and are mapped a little bit differently. The pad is over three octaves from C2 up and you have the solo instrument on top of those um, uh, of the ensembles. We have those key switches on Z0 for the instruments. So you can either use the mouse to switch between them. If you're using key switches, I have this little extra keyboard here next to my keyboard that I'm using to switch between those different instrument sections. So if I'm going to the solo full range, I can see the, uh, the instruments with the full natural range of those solo instruments in the right range on the keyboard. So you can also access your violins, your flute, like that. It's always the same key switches. And that brings me to another thing. Of course, you want to influence your playing style and uh, want to influence the velocity crossfade as you're used to. If you want to, if you've worked with our instruments before, just use velocity crossfade, switch it on like this. We have it on CC1. So if you want to play with more expression this is a good way to do it also for the violins but of course also true it always everything you do here on the perform page always affects the whole instrument so if you go back to the strings and just keep velocity crossfade on your pad
will of course react to your velocity crossfade. Um, that's CC1, super easy to use. You have a lot of more options in here. You have expression, master volume, you have a legato blur. If you want your legato sounds to be a little bit more blurred, you can uh, change the dynamic range of those instruments. Leads a little bit too far right now, just to show you the options. Of course, you're not also not stuck with the pad with just the normal sustain. Sounds like this. You also have a soft pad that you can use in here. And the mapping for the staccatos and we can switch back to the orchestra for this so the synchro player always remembers which articulation you're in in the dimension tree if i switch back to the orchestra using key switches or using the mouse i can go to pad and solo and i have the whole orchestra staccatos and still my solo instrument in the right hand Same with pizzicato, so it's always the same system, super easy to use. And of course, the tremolos, also great to play. Tremolos and the strings, here we go. And this way you can work your way through the structure and just play any combination you like. You can also use different MIDI channels that you can switch between uh, and just build your orchestra like this. Have the tutti parts just played in with a full orchestra and then add more uh, sections and solo instruments as you go. Uh, the player will support you with all the moves in there. And just to have mentioned it, the key switches on C0 that did not fit on an 88 keys uh, keyboard, you can access them with the additional keyboard like I have in here. You can also transpose your master keyboard or set the key switches in your MIDI channel, in your MIDI track separately to have access to all those different articulations. It's always your choice and the musical choice is from left side to the right side. So you decide whether you want an orchestra, maybe with mallets, or just the strings, then it's short notes, long notes are a pad. And within the pad or the long notes, you have different articulations from tremolo over tremolo marcato. You can decide how much of an attack you want to add to the marcato. That's CC3 that does that for you. And in the sections um, dimension, you always see the how many uh, which, how many and which articulations you're playing at the same time. So if I'm going to the orchestra, you see that I'm for the long notes and percussion and the tremolo marcato, I'm playing the tremolo strings, woodwinds long, brass long and percussion at the same time. That's the structure behind it. Um, lots of choice in there, great sound. And we'll get to the details in the next video with a few performance tricks that I'm going to show for you. Very interesting will be the FX presets that I'm going to show in a separate video just to show what's in there uh, when we're using the brand new FX that we've added to the mixer. You get sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 